And here I thought we'd be fighting the last form of Genova before the point of no return. But hey everyone, I'm Pay Click here, welcoming you back to the year Final Fantasy with Final Fantasy 7. Let's do the Omni Slash before I get hit by Genova. Because the ultimate weapon does more damage from I think it was the more HP you have or based on 9999 or the percentage of the health. As in, if he's at 100 percent health, Cloud will do more damage. Or if the higher HPS, the more he would do. I forget which one it is. But as you can tell, this motherfucker is destroying right now with uh, this much health. A lot of Iron Giants though. But I do remember this battle track only because I wasn't... I'm not fond of it. I don't think it fits well. Because the whole Genova track is really fucking... It's really good. But this, not so much. But we can't sense the Genova. Gonna cast Flare. Surprisingly enough, my set has a good magic set, so... He's the mage, but even then... He shouldn't be. Whereas my Baron has a nice attack set. Of course, that's a critical, so... Kind of, sort of, not a good sense of judgment. But goddamn, Cloud, you are hitting way too hard. Oh shit, there's more than one body. Okay. All oh, right, the tentacles. Oh, that was quick. Thanks, Omni Slash, I suppose. I knew I shouldn't have gotten it. Now well.
Now this is a boss battle track. So worth mentioning. I don't remember this boss fight at all. At least that's what I would have been saying. However, for some reason the game crashed on me on the PS4, which is weird. I would expect that on a PC, but not on a PS4. In any case, the gimmick is we're definitely not Final Fantasy VI in the terms of you get to switch to the other party to fight the party, I suppose. Not the party, but the other side of the boss. And uh, since I don't have Kate Sith, Red 13, and Tifa equipped with good materia, just equipment, which should be fine at the very least. It's just gonna be really hard to be equipping. I mean, you can exchange material in between parties, but even then, yeah. I forget which one's uh, gonna be healing. This game crashed pretty early, though. Once I switched, like once or twice, I started doing that. I think it heals the uh, main body. Yeah, let's do it that way. Oh, there you go. So if you say yeah a little, it switches to the other party where they get to fight the other body parts, which I'm not really gonna do. It just sticks here for the most part. But yeah, man, this boss track is fucking amazing. And I am going with the team manly as fuck because, uh, well, I don't know. I just like him the most. I really do like Catastrophe. That's one of the reasons why I chose Barrett. Also worth noting, I suppose, um, in a sense, I could be wrong because I'm not a huge Final Fantasy fan, I guess. But Yuffie and Vincent aren't canon originally at the very beginning of the game because they weren't really shown in cutscenes or promotional art. Which is why I chose them to not stick around. That's the only reason I chose them to not stick around. But eventually, everyone fucking loved Vincent. I don't know about Yuffie, but Vincent's like... Motherfucker's beautiful. Give him a game. And that's kind of how Japan works in a sense. It's like, does that motherfucker look beautiful, cool, and edgy? He's gonna be a main character. It's odd, but I mean, that's how it goes. Anyways, it didn't show off me getting Bahamut Zero because it's just pretty much me interacting with the uh, huge materia. And that's all there is to it. But what I am going to do is show off Bahamut Zero, which is something I haven't seen in forever. The motherfucker nukes you from space! God damn. Alright, now see more. Calm down. Seriously, that's not Seymour. But I can't help but think that. But the Bizarro Sephiroth, it's just... I totally forgot this thing exists. What an odd close up.
All right, I really need to kill this, but I don't want to use Omni Slash, but I am gonna get it soon. I don't know. It's one of those, uh, should I bother things. Yeah, we get it. You can do attacks. Oh, you do have Reflect on. I guess Bizarre Energy is not a spell. Alright. Cloud, just end it. If it's not dead yet, then I'll have uh, Sid do it. Forgot you have W item too. <laughs> oh well. I gotta kill that disgusting belly button. Uh, of course. I totally forgot how to fight this boss. You're supposed to kill it all in one go, I believe. Fuck it. Cloud is so slow. Gotta kill that chest. Oh, oh, there you go. Can I just take a little bit of time to, uh... <laughs> no offense to any of you, but to me, when I see this and hear this theme, it's so fucking cringy to me. Because it takes me back to how cringy I was as a teenager. You know, the faces I've grown up. It's just, I don't know why, this game kind of just brings that back, so... I kind of have a personal cringe fest with this. Alright, everyone's doing the buff. Let's do the buff. Ow, Shadow Flare. Oh, I should have had him dispel. No, oh, well. Anyways, I kind of focus on HP uh, Materia because I know he, as in Sephiroth, hits pretty fucking hard. So, with that said, I wanted to have the whole party at least at 4,000, but I ended up getting this much, which is pretty cool. There it is.
I don't think I can reach. Find out. Yeah, I thought so. There it is! Alright, the first time I'm not gonna speed up, but later on, I am. It's been a while, Supernova. All I remember is uh, the goat see that Jupiter does, and that's about it. <laughs> You'll see what I mean soon enough if you get what I'm referring to. Oh <laughs> man, when Jupiter does that, she cracks me up. I think we're fucked. Oh good. Should have done a white window. I don't think Omni Sash will reach either. I always love making them run away from that too. It's just comedic effect, man. Comedic effect. God damn it, for real, you died so quick? Omni Slash, what the fuck, man? Oh well, that's a god for you.
And then everyone died of geostigma. Let me be honest with you guys. I don't remember that ending at all. After you defeat Sephiroth, for the second time, I don't remember the ending at all. So that's what happens to the high wind. Okay. I'm referring to the part where I said in advertising said in the airship and what happened to the highway. In any case, second off, I didn't use the limit break on Cloud for two reasons. In my head cannon, well there's two ways you can end it. Omni slash the fuck out of him. I'm sure most people would have probably just used Braver to make it look cooler. You know, use the limit break. But mine too is kind of a, my head cannon is a little bit more different, be it whatever you want it to be. I kind of like finish him off with the counter or regular attack or critical attack, whatever you want to be. It's just like a regular attack strike. This is the way I see it. Sephiroth is the biggest bad that's ever been on the planet thanks to him being part Genova, part Hojo, part Lucretia. So, Cloud is also kind of the same way. He was injected with Genova cells. Mojo and all that fun stuff, but it's kind of like that whole rivalry thing. How Cloud and Zack, not before they escape, but the whole incident in Shinra Mansion or in uh, Nibelheim in the reactor, Cloud finishes off Sephiroth by tossing him into the uh, pole, as you saw. But here it's like finally just the next strike is the one that's gonna win. And I'm pretty sure you can always survive an attack from Sephiroth. I think he's always going to do like a 95, 90% damage strike or something like that. I don't really know the stats or how the AI script works, but... This is how it plays out in my head. Sephiroth is still... Strong as a motherfucker. Hits Cloud. Cloud manages to surpass him yet again. Barely though. This time by the sheer will strength of who he is as a person. He's a exceeded soldier, he's become like a proper clone of Sephiroth, except better, thanks to him and uh, Eris, or Aerith, Zack, Tifa and all his friends. So he delivers the final blow back to him, killing him, which is a Counter-Strike. So, it's kind of like the Samurai, or Japanese, or whatever you want to call it, like, the standoff, and then once Slash wins it, that's pretty much how I see it. Except this one is where Cloud actually takes the hit. Which is why I didn't do Omni Slash. So I always thought that was cooler. It's my head cannon. But other than that, man, Final Fantasy VII, holy shit. It's great that I finally got back to this game. It's been a while, man. Like a long while, like I mentioned. But... I don't know if I still think this is that great of a game. The ending is so fucking beautiful, though. I can't help but see bits and pieces of Final Fantasy 6 here we use. I think Sakaguchi really liked some elements. He kind of does that though. Not only him, but a lot of other video games do stuff like that. For example, Sakaguchi kind of, I mentioned this before, uses some assets from 2 into 4 and refines them and make it a little bit more better. And I feel like in 12 he, well, someone from 12 liked 2 and Star Wars, so there you go. But here, let's, uh, shit, man. This game fucking internationally respawned millions of fans, worldwide acclaim, lots of spin offs, still being milked to this day. Seeing the ending for this game makes me want to see Final Fantasy VI get its just. Well, not just six, man, but one, two, five. And six, yeah, all of them to get the remakes after or during sevens. I want them to all get a soft 3D remake. Something like that, man. The way three and well three deserved it. And four did. I don't know why four deserved it, but whatever. This game, man, is still very nostalgic for me, it's very dear to my heart, but as a game, I don't think it's up there anymore. It makes me wonder it. Kind of like when I replayed 9, I'm like, I used to think this game's a shit, but now that I played it again, I'm like, eh. However, this game is still high. It's still high up there. It's still great. Easy to break later on at the very end. I kind of regret getting all the extra stuff, but I did want to show it off. 
Omni Sash, too powerful. Ultima Sword. Too powerful. I missed out on Barrett's final weapon because he can only get it right before you fight Hojo and he has to be in your party. I did not know that. So there's that. I gotta say, man, uh... I am looking forward to the remake. It's gonna be great. Pretty sure it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a very, very different. But as long as it keeps the spirit... And it stays true to what it is in its core, it should be fine. I don't mind if it's not going to be turn-based, or if it's going to play like Crisis Core or anything like that. It's just, I just want it to be true to itself, instead of just looking nice and appealing to fan requests and stuff like that. It might change some cannons though, you never know. But the material system could have been a lot more better, I think. But it is an early game. I kind of think the Materian system and the Junction system are kind of similar in a sense. Where the Junction system goes a little bit more crazier with what you can do with it. They're both equally broken. Not as much as the Junction because you can grind the Junction, but even then. It all falls down to how the music, the story, the characters, the revelations come at fruition. And that's what makes this game Final Fantasy VII great. But yeah, with that said and done, thanks for watching this whole Let's Play on Final Fantasy VII with me, Opaquelik, part of the year Final Fantasy. Only one left to go. See you then.